My intention for mass is for Joseph Timbo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery working night and day in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave toward you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have searched me, and you know me, O Lord. You have, you have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. You, you have, have searched me, and, and you know me, Lord. Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have, have searched, searched me, me and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed 
tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside, you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tomb of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we have lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets' blood. Thus you will bear witness against yourself that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill us up with your ancestors measured us out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, I am sure that you have been at Calvary, Calvary Cemetery in drums. Every time I go to that cemetery, especially during the um, fall season, it is so beautiful. And I get a really beautiful impression of that cemetery that makes me want to die. Not because I want to die, but because it's so beautiful, you know, those tombs over there. And he said, so maybe if I would die, I would, be, I would like to be buried in that cemetery. But Jesus is saying something like, when we see these tombs, and they seem to be, they seem to be so beautiful, but inside is not that beautiful. And it is, th these words are very hard to hear. And I can imagine, for example, for example, the Pharisees and the scribes listening to Jesus, Jesus saying to them that they are like a whitewashed tomb. This is really, really hard to, to accept or, and to hear. But we, we used to be hypocrite, and this is what Jesus is talking about. So we human beings, we used to live in appearance. For example, today at social media, a lot of people are living from the outside, that everybody can see what I do and the way I dress or the money I expend. And Jesus is talking against these things because what is outside for God, that doesn't matter. What does matter is what you have in, inside. And God knows that. So at the Psalm um, 139 says, you have searched me and you know me. So God know, knows us better than ourselves. And if, if I have to behave, instead of behaving in front of people, I have to behave that God would be pleased to see me. So in, in your very life as religious people, try to perform all what is in the gospel and don't take on account what the other says. Because sometimes we are focused on the other and we lose what is better for God. So we have to be in good shape with God instead of being in good shape with men. My brothers and sisters, with humble hearts, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Father. That the church throughout the world may be blessed with a spirit of humility before the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders may be granted wisdom and courage by the Holy Spirit as they formulate laws of policies for peace and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For many who are suffering especially from the COVID or chronic pain. May they feel the healing touch of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here may receive the gift of the Spirit so as to announce the gospel in word and deed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, and the religious life. We pray to Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be called.
called by God into his heavenly kingdom and glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our individual special petitions and intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. All-knowing and merciful God, you search us and know our hearts. Grant us what you know we need. We ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> o Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us full salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have a worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Joseph Timbo and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with, with you. you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that we should enter on the mire, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. Graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may your Mary God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Today we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them most grace of okay. the eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O loving, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Jesus commanded his disciples to love you and one another. Your Son also commissioned his friends to make disciples of all people. By the help of your grace, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, help all who worship you at Queen of Heaven Parish to be and make disciples by loving you and others. May we always be dedicated to this mission above all other things in our encounter with each people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.